Ah, uh, dating. It sucks, doesn't it? Need proof? This week on MTV Unfiltered, we decipher a bunch of new dating terms, and they're all bad. We also rank all the best celebrity Halloween outfits and play a fun game called Vegan or Not Vegan for World Vegan Day. On a scale of one to Rita Ora, how good is your Halloween costume? As a very special treat, we have ranked all the best celebrity outfits in a highly diplomatic process that only involved two cases of mild corruption. And they say democracy is dead. In fifth place, Lily Reinhardt and Camilla Mendes as Napoleon Dynamite and Pedro. Frankly, if it was a dance competition, they would have won. But it wasn't a dance competition. Fourth place is Nina Dobrev as a star that's just been born. Complete with dummy, milk bottle, and an extremely blatant Oscar campaign. In third place, we have the amalgamation of two naughty's icons. Paris Hilton dressed as a sexy Furby. She tweeted a pic of her hashtag Halloween squad, which also included sister Nikki Hilton dressed up as Paris in her iconic 21st Day Monte handkerchief dress. It's both very meta and very clear who the favorite sibling was in that family. Speaking of Day Montes, Harry Styles takes second place as Elton John in the bedazzled baseball outfit he wore during his historic 1975 gigs at Dodger Stadium. We love Harry and his tiny dancer. And the reigning champion of Halloween 2018, not that it's a competition, but it's definitely a competition, Rita Ora as Post Malone. I previously held the title for best Post Malone impression after that time someone commented on my video saying I had a moustache that made me look like him, but I'm happy to hand over this coveted title to Rita. Well done everyone, I would give you a prize, but I don't have any. Ghosts, my love life, both terrifying and non-existent. Well, that's not strictly true. We're all plaguing the dating world. But while you're probably aware of ghosting, there's a bunch of new lingo on Twitter to describe the multitude of ways that my dates end. So, are you as familiar with these terms as I am? Number one, zombieing. I feel like that's like a step worse than ghosting. Zombieing. Zombieing. Jesus. Now that's some weird fetish stuff. Is it that some I don't kind want. of like extension on ghosting? Wait, in what uh, context? Can you use it in a sentence? Yeah. As one Twitter user says, new dating term, zombieing, verb. When a guy ghosts you and then tries to resurface months later. Unlike actual zombies, they don't want you for your brains. Ah. Oh. Number two, breadcrumbing. I don't Bread. know, is it some sort of like, like fetishy sex term? Sprinkling breadcrumbs over like the naked what was that, body. Like Robert Downey Jr. meme. I think it's trying to fatten someone up. Like, <laughs> basically, like, filling them up with all this goodness, and then, wait, what are we talking about again? Breadcrumbing. They don't want to be with you, but give you just enough attention to keep you around. That's just flirting, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Number three, orbiting. What? I know this. We're talking about dating, right? Oh, is know, it when I you go to the that. club and you like do a scan? <laughs> Orbiting is a new dating trend. It's when a person doesn't completely ghost, but keeps involved with you from a distance. For instance, a person might ignore your texts, yet views your Instagram stories. Ooh, I have been orbited. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, Caspering. Caspering. Oh, ghosting, obviously, right? But friendlier version, Caspering. Friendly ghosting. So is that friend zoning, basically? Like when you, when you tell them that you're ghosting them, <laughs> <laughs> you just send them a ghost emoji and you're just like, this is happening, I apologize. Caspering equals Casper the friendly ghost version of ghosting, which includes an explanation. So being a decent human being? Spot on. Oh. <laughs> Smashed it. Oh. There you have it, folks. A nice new set of vocabulary to describe all the ways that dating sucks. It's as close to closure as you're going to get. Trust me. It's World Vegan Day, a time to remember that animals are friends, not food, and that we're slowly killing the planet with excess methane, over farming, deforestation, and corporate megalomania. Cool. Look, I'm not going to force feed you facts on why you should be vegan, because that's one surefire way to get everyone to quit this video quicker than they inhaled the quarter pounder on the way home from the pub last night. And also, I'm not vegan. Yet. So, while everyone's tweeting up a vegan storm, I thought we could play a fun game. Vegan or not vegan? Side note, while extensive research has gone into this video, always double check the fine print. I don't want to get sued. Haribo sweets. Not vegan. They've got beeswax as a glazing agent. Loads aren't even vegetarian because they're made with pork or beef gelatin. Mmm, meaty candy. Tasty. Tesco's bacon rasher snacks. Vegan. Sprinkle them over Heinz beans and you've got yourself a tasty hangover cure. Make sure it's the standard baked beans though, the no added sugar version isn't vegan. Always check your labels, it's confusing. Cash. 
not vegan. Australian banknotes and the UK's five pound note contain tallow, which is an animal byproduct. Vegans extricating themselves from animal cruelty and capitalism. Heroes. Oreos. No, but kind of? They're not made from dairy products, but they may have come into contact with milk products in the manufacturing process. But if you are vegan, where you draw the line is of course up to you. That steak you had for dinner though, not vegan, you animal.